It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Wheel EduTech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solutions to questions 55 and 56 on the May 2012 CSEC math exam multiple choice paper. Now, here it states item 55 refers to the following graph. And here we have the graph. Now it states 55. In the figure above, the line CD is the image of AB after. And here they have given us some options A to D to choose the best option. Okay. Now, Let's look at this right away, my friends. Um, just by looking at it, I could simply say then that the answer or tell you that the answer is part B, uh, which is a reflection in the Y axis. OK, but and let's just circle it. This is the correct answer. However, let's look at the whole idea behind it. Why is it a reflection in the Y axis? Now, when given a transformation, there are certain characteristics of each transformation that you ought to use to identify. OK, for example, the reason why I can tell you that it's a reflection in the Y axis is because under a reflection, both object point and its corresponding image point is the same distance away from the mirror line. If you notice, uh, the Y axis is the mirror line as we have established. And if you notice, the point A is two, four units away. If you notice, it's on the, it's on this line where X is four. So it's four units away from the mirror line. Also, its corresponding image point, which is the point C is also four units away from the mirror line. Okay. So object and image points corresponding object and image points that is they are the same distance away from the mirror line if you notice the point d would correspond with the point b and also those two points would be the same distance away uh, from the mirror line if you checked it okay another important characteristics to make mention of under a reflection is that if you should draw a line from an object point to its corresponding image point and let's match d to b and here, let, let's just draw, construct a straight line, straight line going through. Oops, that's that's a little bit poor. Let's just try to get it a little bit neater than that. OK, so for example, right from D and I'm going straight across to B. OK, if you notice, my friends, where when a line is drawn from an object point to its corresponding image point, at the point where it cut the mirror line, and in this case, the y axis is the mirror line, okay? The point where it cut the mirror line, it forms a right angle, okay? Or you can say that line that is drawn from the object point to its corresponding image point is perpendicular to the mirror line, meaning that it cut it at an angle of 90 degrees, okay? So those are just a few characteristics. Another important one. Um, that you can use. If you notice when you're looking in a mirror, your, you are, your image is facing you. So basically when looking in a mirror, uh, the object and the image, they are facing each other. So we say that it's laterally inverted. And if you should look at the object, which is the line segment AB, it's as if it's facing DC. Okay. Both object and image are facing each other. So those are just a few characteristics to justify or answer why it is a reflection in the Y axis. Hope that was useful. Let's quickly move on to, uh, item 56. Now it states that item 56 refers to the isosceles triangle below. And here, my friends, we have an isosceles triangle. Obviously, we have two sides that are equal. Hence, we will have two base angles that are equal. Therefore, this base angle here must be equal to 40 degrees. OK, so I would have a 40 degrees right there. Now, let's quickly move. Now it states 56 in the 56 in the triangle, the value of X is so they're asking us to simply calculate the angle at the apex. Now, in any triangle, the sum of the interior angles uh, measures or sums to 180 degrees. So in calculating X, my friends, this is pretty cool. We could say the value of X must be equal to 180 minus. And if you notice, we're subtracting the two base angles. Now, if we subtract 40 plus 40, that would give us a 80. So basically, we're saying 180 minus 80, and that would be equal to 100 Okay, degrees. So obviously, option C would be our correct option. Feel free to ask a question if you're still not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you in the next videos when we'll be uh, looking at the solutions to questions 57 and 58. Bye-bye.